Sending an email in the photo booth operator is a simple yet powerful way to communicate with various individuals that you come in contact with during the course of your business. When you first click on send an email, you're presented with the options of who you would like to send the email to. And you can send to a client, to a venue, to an attendant, to a partner, to a mail list, to all clients, all venues, all operators. You could even just type in an email address that you would like to send it to. If you're going to do a email list, uh, then you'll be doing a bulk send, or if you're sending to all clients, all venues, etc. And the only thing that's kind of different with that is that your bulk send will require a view online and unsubscribe link, and the photo booth operator provides for those. But let's just do a basic one time send. Alright, we're going to send an email to ourselves. Now, <clears throat> you do also have the option of sending not only to a specific client, but you can create CC and BCCs to other individuals. And for those not familiar, CC is basically sending an email to the recipient as well that can be viewed by all. A BCC is a blind carbon copy, and the recipient cannot receive that. So for instance, if we wanted to send an email to Maureen Ainley, and to America Center with CC, and to David Chapman, the attendant blind CC, three emails would be sent out. They would all be the same email, but they would go, one would go to Eileen, or Maureen Eileen, one would go to the America Center, and one would go to David Chapman. David Chapman would not be seen as a recipient on that email. It would look like the email if you were Maureen Ainley, was sent to you and to America Center. Let's reset these back to nothing. Like I said, we're just sending one email to ourselves. Next up, you'll need to put in a subject. That's the email. If you'd like to include a signature, you may. You can do background color on the email. You can attach a document from your list of documents. You can also have the email body be a document instead of an attachment. You can also attach one or more files. And if you'd like to reference an event or reference a client, you may do so. This is going to be helpful if you have shortcuts in your emails. Also, for instance, you may be sending an email to a client. You need to reference their event because there's information in your email regarding their event. You then need to select which email template you're going to use. And if you are sending to a mail list, we have a one-page primer on email marketing best practices. This is a simple PDF. It's only one single page. We cannot stress enough or recommend enough that if you are sending to a bulk email, even if you have previously used a bulk email service, that you read this primer on best practices. This will help your rate of acceptance to mailboxes, which should increase your rate of reads, which should increase your rates of redemption. The key here, what we're trying to do, is ensure that your email is viewed by as many potential customers as possible. Those large-scale email services do not have that concern. They will do stupid things, such as allowing you to send an entire image as your email. Well, very simply, and this is in our primer, smartphones are text only until you click the View Image button. So if you send an email that is only an image, absolutely nothing else, people viewing them on their smartphones, which obviously is a very large percentage of your recipient audience, will see a blank email. Now, sure. Some may click show op images. Others will simply disregard it as a mistake. Uh, furthermore, and of more importance to you, the business owner, is spam filters are set to determine if an email is just solely an image, and many of them will not even let it through to begin with. Sending out enough of those, you run the risk of being identified as spam, which will make it extremely difficult for you to get your message across to anybody on that ISP. Again, 
read the marketing best practices primer for more information on this. You have your shortcuts as usual. We're going to send out just a uh, pre-done template. We do have the view online and company name and address links here. If this was being sent, sent out to a main li email list, you would also have the unsubscribe link there. We'll give you the opportunity to do a text-only version. Again, extremely important for the mobile market. If you don't feel like typing one from hand, you can do the copy and convert from HTML above, which will then do its best to copy and paste what is above without any HTML code. We then give you a chance to preview the email. And when you do do that, you'll see the photo booth operator warns you your email does not contain a view online shortcut. We have the option to add the view online link here, and it's automatically added. This is extremely important because, again, not every, you do not know who is going to be viewing this email, on which device, which email client, etc., etc. You may not know security that they have in place. Providing a view online link to this email gives them a surefire way to view this email. So now we're going to preview email again. Photo booth operator clears the hurdle this time and it goes through a review of your results. You indicated you want to send it to one email. It is invalid so it will be sent to one email. We can do a preview of the email with substitutions if there are any. Um, as it says before the substitution is a low level check so the results may be different from what you see there you can now edit the email or we can go ahead and send it out I'm going to go ahead and send it out and the photo booth operator returns us to sent emails you see there is our test email it was sent today one was sent no fail no open no unique and you have the options to edit or delete um, you can go ahead and delete these emails if you'd like the edit option here though is a little bit different and provides an important functionality so we need to review this if you click the edit button photo booth operator takes you back to that send email screen with all the information pre-populated it's going who's it going to subject line the actual text and or the email and the text only what this becomes extremely useful and powerful for that we've had a lot of requests is an ability to resend an email. So if you send an email to someone, you contact them by phone, they say for some reason they didn't get the email. Instead of having to recreate the whole thing from scratch, you can just click that edit function on the email list. It will load up with everything already there, and then all you have to do is preview and send a second time.